And today I'm going to show you how to use uh, R squat for squat carbon model. So in, in terms of R squat, uh, the main differences between squat and squat carbon are that there are several new parameters by in squat carbon model. So if you go to squat carbon website here, you will see that, uh, for example, there's basin carbon TS5 and this file and so on. Uh, and you need to put the parameters from this file into the list of R squat parameters. Uh, for, for example, here I have an example of of um, what carbon take in take out file. And these are the new file. Yeah. So if you open this file, you will see that there are new parameters in here and you need to put this parameter into as what list of parameter for example here I put in here yeah at the end of this file you will see that here for example yeah. So this parameter is let's say dot uh, here this parameter, and you should put like this the parameter name dot the file name. This is the file name basin bottom ALJ and at line for example line number three and star position and position of that number. Is time one and is sixteen, and the precision there's no uh, no number after the decimal, so I put here is zero, and the range of that parameter, so I put zero and infinity. But you should definitely change the range uh, if you know the physical range. So this the uh, range should be checked and changed if necessary. So you just uh, oh, um, check all of the new parameter and put into this file. And here I have put it into this file. So when I have updated uh, R squat, if you go to data example squat, here it's in here, and I have updated this file already. Okay, now we should uh, download the source code as squat and run with R. So here you download the source code and then you open R Studio and you open R, this file with R Studio UI.R. For example, here I have opened the file, open the UI.R file and I run and the app interface appear like this. Uh, so the setting of uh, squat carbon is um, identical to squat. Here you just define the working folder. For example, my working folder is this. my working folder is, is here. Just create a working folder. And here I have a, an example of taking the now from squat carbon project here. I put it here. The interval and the executable file you can download from the squad cup on website. Uh, squad cup on put files and code. Here you can use debug or release version. For example, I use here's the release version. Yeah, and then you uh, Load the file with own squad and squad carbon parameter. Yeah. Uh, it's in here. R squad. Ta -ta. Example squad. Yeah, if you display the parameter at the end, you will see these are squad carbon parameter. And parameter, um, suddenly. Here, for example, I 
uh, want to modify one parameter from the squad carbon model and the parameter name is cfb dot basin carbon ts so it in this file if you want to know the squad carbon parameters you can put here on here right so that parameter is here yeah I can go to the take and take out for the of squat cup on basins cup on TS. So this is the parameter. For example, I want to change this parameter from the range of zero to one. Zero to one. Here you just leave it empty. And I want to run two simulation with the parameter using uh, parameter generated by uniform latent high group sampling with a parameter range like this. And now I can run. And before running, I need to tell us what which output uh, value I want to extract. For example, here I want to extract from the output dot. RCH files at the column number eight. I want to extract for reach number one and two. At the column number eight, I want to extract for reach number one, two, and three. So let's open this file for example. Output dot reach. What does it mean? So at column number eight, a uh, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's say column number seven. I want to extract for reach number one and two. And at column eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here I want to extract for reach number one, two, three, one, two, three, this value, and so on. Similar for the output dot hiu file at column number nine, I want to extract for hiu numbers thirty and thirty one, and at column number twelve, I want to extract for hiu numbers one, thirty, and thirty one. And here the day range instruction you can modify if you want. And later on, when you want to compare the simulated value with observed value, here you should input like 10 observed files. So the first observed file corresponding to the output form output.rich column number 7, rich number 1, and so on. The second observed file corresponds to this output variable. And then you can click here to run. Here I already run the program. Yeah, and here I don't have the observe from there. This is just an example to show that as what it work with what uh, cup on. You can click run in here again. Yeah, it's running. And it will be finished after two minutes or so. And then if you had a parameter observe file, you can load here and calculate NSC, KG or so on. Um, what is important in here is that um, is that the absolute mean and mark in here I actually I don't know the um, upper limit so I just put infinity. And you should change this to the value that you think is a physically reasonable. Only it's only relevant for the parameter that you want to calibrate. You yeah. Okay, thank you for the attention.